Hi guys, I'm going to show you today how to create a cold liquid reveal animation in After Effects. So this is the final result, we're going to create this today, so let's jump into it. We're going to open After Effects and create a new composition, rename it to liquid and I use 1080p 25 frames per second them. and we're going to reduce the composition to 7 seconds because we don't need more than 7 seconds. Hit OK and we're going to create a background which will be a solid and I pick a very dark blue hit OK and rename the layer to BG or background and lock the layer so we're going to go to layer new and we're going to create a new text which will be a base of our animation and I use this type of font which is free so I'm going to link this font in the description below type liquid or your text and I'm going to position the text in the middle and also hit Y which is the anchor point tool reposition and just in case I go to title save and I'll make sure the, the text is in the middle and we're going to create our first wave which is a shape layer and I also am using a color palette which I'm going to bring it from the from my desktop and but feel free to use any different color for your animation this is our three main color for this project and also I'm going to lock this layer for the shape layer I'm going to use the first dark color and just draw a rectangle onto the screen with a pen tool so draw a rectangle rectangle shape and if you can't see on the right hand side the effects panel just go to windows and click on effects and press it and we're going to search for wave warp so this is the base effect we're going to use for this project and drag it drop in it to, into your uh, shape layer as you can see there's a default settings but we're going to change the settings a little bit so for the first wave height I use 35 and for the wave with uh, 300 I think it should be fine and the default speed which is like a one unit I think it's, uh, it's suitable for this water effect so go and hit the position uh, stopwatch for the our wave and we're going to animate the wave which is going to fill up the text so the first position should be under the text and also we're going to change the path for the wave like a S curve or S path and in the middle we're going to create another keyframe and select all of the keyframes that hit F9 which is easy ease the keyframes and go to more graph editor and we're going to change the dynamics or the acceleration and the slow down animation for this fail animation so roughly do try to match your animation or your curve to my curve like a M curve and you say hit a ram preview and I'm going to check the animation so I try to create a bit more natural feel for the for the waves a little bit should be s slower on the middle And I'm also going to rotate the whole water, which is, I feel like the water coming from the left, left hand side. It's a bit nicer. <coughs> okay, it's looking good. Uh, 
So for the wave, go and turn it to alpha mat, which is going to use the text as a mask. So your the wave going to fill up the text as you can see. So that's why uh, make sure your animation or fill up animation is, is good because we're going to duplicate this and use the base animation for the rest of the two colors. The next step, select your two layers and duplicate it. And for the second wave, I shift it in time. Which is the second wave going to come a little bit later. And I'm going to shift the keyframes as well. So select all of your keyframes and hold Alt and grab your last keyframe and you can stretch it uh, and you, make, you can make your animation faster or slower. So for the second, I'm going to change the color a little bit lighter. And also I shift it in time. As you can see, it's going to... So the second wave comes a little bit later. It gives a, uh, a nice effect. And also I'm going to change the details or the settings for the second wave. Make the wave a little bit longer and a bit more wavy. And check the animation with the RAM preview. And pretty much at, the, at this point, I just play with the dynamics and try to figure out what time the second animation should appear. And after when I'm happy, I duplicate the second animation and I'm going to recolor the third wave to a li lightest color. And Try to figure out this this last wave when it should come. And also I'm going to change the details for this one. Just spend a couple of minutes and check your animation a few times. I'm playing with the, just the timing at the moment. Because a couple of frames can make a big difference. So that's why I shift the fr uh, keyframes to left or right and check the animation which uh, which one I like the most. So as you can see the second and the last wave is very similar but with that the last um, circle or last settings you can change the sample. Pretty cool if both of your waves looking very uh, similar or in the same position you can just rotate that wheel and it's going to change the sample of the wave. If you are happy with your animation, select all of your waves except your uh, background and pre-comp it. And I give a uh, text name for it. And I go inside and I'm going to copy the last wave because I'm going to use this wave as a um, disappear animation. So I'm going to use this to mask mask the whole animation so just find the right spot when you want to disappear this animation and uh, recolor this wave but the color doesn't really matter for this shape because it's going to be transparent anyway but just uh, make it more clear and visible for me that this is a, a mask and use inverted alpha mat for the text layer which is our precomp so the blue layer will work like a mask as you can see it's going to mask out our animation okay when you're happy with this one as well select both of them and pre-comp it again and give final text or something like that and go to new and we're going to create an adjustment layer so we will create the bubbles effect for the text and just type cc bubble or bubbles drag it and drop it into your adjustment layer and unselect that icon which is going to reveal your bubbles so at the moment this looks like a simple bubbles slowly going up but I want just a bubble appear inside the text so we're going to do that but before I'm just slightly change the, the settings for the bubble so make it a little bit smaller Okay. So 
So hit the bubble amount stopwatch and hit U which is going to reveal the keyframe and we're going to play with the bubble amount so the first uh, keyframe should be zero and I think we should use much more bubbles so roughly 800 as you can see appear lots of bubbles and when we go in time I think less bubble start to disappear and when we our text going to disappear our bubble should disappear as well so I use like 150 or 200 so less bubble going to appear the mask going to mask our bubbles anyway so don't need to be zero at the end okay so the bubble is looking good I just hit F9 for for the keyframes for smooth the keyframes for the bubbles and I also change the the shape of the bubbles I think it's just a stylistic preference for myself but you can use other style of bubbles if you like and the lowered opacity for the bubbles so I think it's looking better and I'm going to duplicate the final text and put it over the adjustment layer and hit alpha math for the adjustment layer and as you can see its animation is already done I think it's looking pretty cool I hope you find this useful if you did please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you haven't already until then see you guys in the next one